What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and uh yeah, sometimes I feel like talking with a weird accent. So now that I got that out of the way, let's go ahead and learn about grid pane. Now a grid pane, as you probably could have expected, is a way that you can arrange items in a grid. No surprise there. However, it's not just a boring grid like a spreadsheet. We can actually do some pretty cool stuff to it. So Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need, obviously, is a grid pane. I'm going to name mine grid because I'm that creative, and we'll just set this equal to new grid pane. So this is our entire layout, and if we take this grid and we just plop it in our window, then what's going to happen is our layout is going to be butted right up against the edges of the window, and it's going to look really weird. So the first thing you always want to do is you want to call a method called set padding. Now as you can see this takes an insets object as a parameter so set padding new insets what the heck is it insets it's essentially just an object that you can have four values tossed into and these are just the amount of padding that you want to add to each edge so if you want to say um, like make a 10 pixel padding around your entire layout you can just put 10 10 10 10 if you want like more padding on the bottom or something then you can go ahead and tweak those values but again what this does is it's gonna put a 10 pixel padding around your layout in the window but here's the thing the individual cells themselves they don't have any padding or spacing yet so even though our layout isn't gonna be butted directly up against the window all those cells are gonna be bunched together so how do we take care of that well what we do is we take our grid and we call a method called set v gap and this pretty much sets the vertical spacing or the padding of vertically so now with that I think 8 looks good I tested this before our vertical spacing is now 8 pixels and you guys can probably guess what you need to do for horizontal spacing h gap and let me set this equal to 10 pixels so all we did right here is we made a grid layout and we added a little bit of padding between the entire layout and the border of the window of 10 pixels and the spacing vert vertically is 8 and the spacing horizontally is 10 and again this is the individual cells themselves not the entire layout so now that we got our grid taken care of let's go ahead and start adding some items so what I'm gonna do in this example is I'm just gonna make a quick little it's gonna look like a login screen it's gonna have username and then a place to type your username password place to type whatever password you wanna make up and a login button obviously it's not really gonna log into any website this is just you know demonstrating how you would make it but cool little example so I'll say name label and I'll name this one name label new label and we'll just say username and let me put a little colon right there all right so now what we need to do is we pretty much just made an item that we want to add now we have to say where do we want to add it what column what row and in order to do that we need to call a method called set constraints so this takes three parameters the first one is the child in other words what item do you want to add to the grid ours is going to be the label obviously and the other two are what column and what row in other words the position where you want to add it so again what item do you want to add the name ladle label ladle not that label and of course since computers start counting at zero this means the first column in the first row in other words this label is going to appear in the top left of the grid simple enough easy breezy beautiful cover girl alright so the next thing is name input which is the area that they type their name in and this can be text field and how about I name it name input new text field and check this out so what we could do is we can just create it like this and that's just gonna create a blank input pretty cool or if we want to have default text in there for example maybe the user logged in before and you wanted to save their username like a bunch of websites do you can actually pass a string into this text field and it's going to give you default text so I'll show you guys what that looks like 
right there. And of course, just like before, once we're done making our item, we need to add it to the grid. Set constraints, what do you want to add? Name input, where do you want to add it? Well, how about in the first column? Or excuse me, in the yeah, second, having to talk and type different numbers than I'm explaining is a little bit different in the first row, which is row zero. So again, this is going to appear to the right of the label. So now we have to do the same thing with password. Pretty easy. Let me just copy this. So for the password label, I'll just name this pass label. And the label is just going to be password, grid pane, what are you trying to add? We want to add that pass label. Where do you want to add it? Well, it's zero. Remember, it's going to appear in the same column, all of these labels, but it's going to appear in the second row, so zero, one. And the same thing for the input. Actually, let me show you guys something. Password, input, and check this out. So, of course, just like before, it's going to be a text field. And I'll just name it pass input equals. Probably should just copy this. Text field. All right. So, I'm not going to have any default text for the password. And by the way, I probably should mention this. Whenever I'm running this demonstration, since this is just a plain text field, it's going to. Um, display the password in plain text but later on I'll show you guys how to have an input where you can type it and it will actually display like those little circles or asterisks you obviously want to want to have a plain text uh, pass field or else whoever was typing in their password uh, you know someone else could see it but this is just a quick little demo demonstrating grid pane so what I want to do is show you guys the difference between default text and this right here which is pass input set prompt text so if you guys are familiar with like um, HTML or if you ever made a form for a website you saw that there's these things called password hints which is this light grayed out text that was a pretty much pretty much an indicator of what you're supposed to type there so it isn't default text because default text whenever the user clicks in the input field it's gonna remain there and it's gonna be dark black prompt text is lighter gray and just for this demo I'll put like password if you had no idea what I'm trying to explain then you will see the difference whenever I'm running this program but um, I just want to show you guys that there is indeed a difference between default text which you throw as a parameter whenever you're making the text field object and prompt text so that's all I'm trying to say for right now so of course, just like before, we need to do one more thing. If I can type grid pane, set constraints, and what is it? pass input one one, which pretty much means the second column, second row, tomato tomato. Now the last thing we need is just a login button, button, and inside here I just say login. Now I actually want this in the second column in the third row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call grid pane, second strange, login button, and this would be one, two. So second column, third row, looks good. It's going to appear right under the inputs. I think it looks weird if you put it right under the label. So, you know, there's that. All right. So simple enough. The last thing we need to do is add everything to the grid because all we did is we made the items and we positioned them so I don't know this is just a weird rule so grid just like before get children add all and what do we want to add first the name label gonna add that name input pass label pass input and a login button so now we have everything added to the grid and I probably should have kept this from my last tutorial. Scene scene equals new. Scene how. All right. So for your scene, we have one thing we want to plop in it. The grid that we just made. How big do you want it? How about 300 by 200? Why not? And we need to call window. 
set scene. Let me tighten all this up so you guys can actually see. All right. There we go. So everything is looking pretty good. Let me run this and see what I fudged up. All right. So let me hide this. So first of all, you can see that this is default text, this Bucky right here. And whenever I'm clicking in the input area, it doesn't disappear. So whenever we were checking for text that the user typed in, this would pass through. However, a password hint, or in other words, as it's called in here, prompt text, this is just a little gray indicator and whenever I click in here check out what happens it disappears and whenever we're doing data validation that value wouldn't get passed through so again that's the difference that's what I was trying to explain again like I said a lot easier if you just see it but uh, yeah there you go click login nothing happens beautiful however we now know how to use grid panes so uh, actually in the next tutorial what I'll show you guys how to do is actually get input from the user so we can actually extract these values and use them in our program. It's going to be sweet, so I'll see you then.